Hello friends. This video is about my new gear shift lever. You call it a gear shift or a gear stick, uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, in Japan, we call these select levers. The stick that you have in, in your automatic car, I think those are called change levers. I made one of these with my 3D printer about a year ago, this red one. And I've been playing my favorite game, Dirt Rally, with this shift lever for about a year. It's held up pretty well. It worked on a rubber band here inside, and this mechanism would make it stick into these different gears. And there was a secret here below where you can see these gates where this one bolt goes in and out of. Oh no. Anyway, the reason I've decided to make a new one is not only to improve upon the mechanics a little bit, I've learned a lot uh, with my joystick over there. By making that joystick, I'm using some of the same mechanical tricks here. The second reason is, look at the car I'm driving right now, I'm, uh, I've been slowly climbing the ladder of these ranks in this game got in a bit faster, a bit better at driving and finally I'm at the point where I'm ready to drive my favorite car from TV when I was little the blue rally car the problem is that car instead of the usual five gears it has six so this car here let me change into this new car all right Let's see how these six speeds work. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And to go reverse, I have an extra spring here. So you have to push even harder to go right and then down for reverse. All right, well, I don't wanna be outside the car. Let's go in. All right, hi Phil. This is it. This is what I've been building. For six, down but further along for reverse. Hi, it's Akaki here from the future. Looks like I was a bit too excited to be driving this blue rally car in the Finnish forests that day. So I'm gonna take over from here. Let's put him in the corner there and come back to him if he ever gets up to the sixth gear. Meanwhile, here in CAD, I'm going to show you how I designed this. So this is the old design. You can see the gates here and how when you move the stick, the bolt goes through these different shapes. And to add, the extra gear I use copy and paste, add one more gear and now you can see how these eight holes or grooves now allow for the bolts to move in eight different locations. So six forwards gears and one reverse and then you actually have one extra, like a seventh gear. So print all these parts out. This frame part is the only one that needs some supports. You can see the round bit with all the gates down here below needs this mess and you need to clean it up but here you have it everything else is as you see this is the central hinge part wait hold on i think he's up to something yeah never mind <laughs> anyway this is the hinge part but i'm using embedded nuts like this so i heat them up and push them in and that makes for a really nice smooth connection you tension it with a rubber band and here I'm installing the long bolt for the gates you can see how it has two springs one of them is hidden here inside for up and down motion uh, before that you need to install the switches this up and down switches go inside here make sure they work nicely and you have to kind of adjust the location so that you get a click every time you go into a new speed on the shift. It's three plus two switches, so five, and you need to solder all of them to your Arduino micro. Oh no, I think he was going so fast that the USB got disconnected. You have to do this stupid Tom Cruise thing with your hands to get it, get the USB connection reconnected. Oh no, Phil, Phil, no, Phil, can't see Phil. 
Anyway, add some strain relief with some cable ties and mount the Arduino here. And program it with your USB cable. I'm adding a golden handle this time for more visibility in the video. And some bling. You can have a golden cable as well if you want to be a bit more rich. It mounts to your table with just clamps like this. So it's under the table and mounted 45 degrees so it's easy to reach from where you're driving. To program it, it's using only five switches to figure out eight different locations plus neutral. Uh, so what's going on here is you have two switches, one for up and down, and then for left and right you have left, right and even more right to get all the different positions on the left and right axis. And you can imagine that you could make a decision matrix out of these different logical inputs, but uh, what I've done instead here, you can, as you can see, it's just a bunch of if statements like this. Because it's an Arduino Micro, what you can do is implement a human interface device compliant joystick, which means that your device just shows up as a regular gamepad in your Windows options like this and all the games they support it right out of the box so just assign those buttons and you're ready to go and drive every time I disconnect I have to do this Tom Cruise shit again alright now that you've seen how to design and build one of these let's go back into the game and see if I can actually take advantage of the potential and actually reach gear 6 with this car Oh, I'm in this. I should have been in fourth. I was too eager to use the sixth here. I mean, it does work. Someone has to tell me about these lights. Are you supposed to change gears when you're in the green or the yellow? Because these go past so fast, you know? Especially on first and second and third. There also is a RPM meter there, see? The, the right one. And looks to me like as soon as you go to 7000, that's where it peaks out and it won't go past that. So am I supposed to be looking at that and, and listening for the RPM, the, just the revs? The, oh, oh no. Black smoke I saw there. It's hard to tell, you know. Should I be looking at the RPMs to shift or is it the lights? Because these lights go past so fast. I've turned off the notes for this tracks, so my friend Phil is, I think he's saying something, but I've turned off the audio, so his mic won't reach my ears, because uh, I need to be able to think for myself, think and talk, which is still hard during driving. Oh yeah, six gear, there we are. Using all the features of my new ship knob. Oh, oh no going to the lake. Look at the swans! Look. Oh, no. oh. There were swans, definitely. Never would have noticed that. The French. And so, in the end, I was able to go up to sixth gear, if only for the briefest of moments, and show that this new model of gear shift does work. I do need some practice with these newer, faster cars. And uh, for one final thing, why don't we shift gears, so to say, and go for a little drive in the mountainous Monaco circuit. So that has been my gear shift. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something. Perhaps uh, it will give you some inspiration, maybe make one for yourself or uh, whatever other input device you might be lacking in your games, especially simulators. I have a little bit of a teaser for next time. I was driving in Finland earlier, but this time I'm in the Alps, I believe. And here you need to slow down and make a lot of hairpin turns. And to help you with that, I have one of these. So perhaps next time you can join me and I'll show you how to make a handbrake. So you can do one of these handbrake turns which perhaps next time I'll 
I'll be more proficient at. Oh, there we go. Hairpin. Let's go. No. It's analog too, so look forward to it, please. See you then. And goodbye. Oh, oh no.